All right, so we're not playing this game smart anymore. We're playing it dumb. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bunch of random dots around. And now we're just going to play connect the dots. So we're just going to... There we go. It's just going. We did it. We created a stair climbing creature. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Evolution. You guys actually seem to like it a lot better than I thought you were going to, so we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna mess around again, and see what kind of crazy things we can make today. Now, last time I opened up the episode with the word hi, this time I decided to open up with uh, my pathetic attempt at making an SM logo, but having the overlapping S and M thing just didn't... It was hard to communicate with this, but this is the best I could do, and I wanted it to be attached this time, as opposed to the high, which the H and the I were not attached to each other with bones. So this time, the S and the M are attached, so now all I'm gonna do is just start attaching muscles to everything, kind of like this, I guess. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how many muscles I should attach to each thing, like, should I, should I have some of this going? You know what, I'm just gonna attach muscles to everywhere. Let's just do a little bit of everywhere from just bone to bone all over the place because I think more muscles equals stronger. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just I'm just trying to find any little place I can attach a muscle and I'm just going to attach a muscle. Okay, I think we have enough muscles attached maybe. All right, let's uh let's evolve this thing. Okay, things are happening. Things are happening. Let's uh, let's go ahead and show one of the time That's my SM. That that's me. Oh, I can kind of see now. I can see the M. There's the M. Oh, and there's the S. Okay, it's working. It's working. We have Oh boy. This thing is uh uh it's broken. It's uh I think I put too many muscles on it. I think it Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Wait. What is with the glitchy start? It just it just it, it spasms. I just Spit on myself. I'm terrified. You know what? I, this makes me a little bit uncomfortable, the fact that it doesn't actually stay together. I'm gonna go ahead and delete a bunch of muscles. Let, let's make it a little bit more simplistic, a little bit more predictable, so that we can actually see it do things. Okay, now let's do it the original way. Let's just connect each uh, bone to its neighbor bone with muscle. And let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's see what this does. Whoa, 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 whoa. Generation two, it's already learning how to how to jump. You know what? I'm gonna give this thing some time. I feel like this might do things. This is really unexpected. But then again, how many things in the previous episode started off unexpectedly good and ended unexpectedly bad? Let's give it some time. We're gonna see what happens. So put your put your bets down below. By generation 30. Is this thing going to improve on what it's currently doing, or is it just gonna keep failing after a second? Welcome to Generation 30! Look at what we have! Believe it or not, this is my logo, and my logo is surprisingly successful. It is a hopping... It, it's a hopping SM. That's what it is. I mean, well, it's not really an SM anymore. It starts off for half a second being an SM, and then it turns into whatever this thing is. Which I'm gonna call it, uh... Uh... uh stupid. So there seems to be a trend going on. And that is when I make something that looks completely impractical and stupid and actually ends up being more effective than when I actually try to do it smart. So I think that's going to be the theme of today's episode is let's make really stupid, stupidly impractical things and see how well they can evolve into something actually kind of smart like this lunging and bounding SM which is actually working. And you know what, we're just gonna go straight to the climbing challenge because we ended the last episode with a climbing challenge, but we only tried one creature and we tried to play it smart and spoiler alert, it didn't work. So this time we're just gonna not really try to make something practical and we're probably gonna do better than we've done before. 
All right, so we're not playing this game smart anymore. We're playing it dumb. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bunch of random dots around, and now we're just going to play Connect the Dots. So we're just going to... There we go. And now we have to connect the bones. All right, we've connected the dots. We've connected the bones. Oh, wait, we got to connect this one there. And now we're gonna see how this thing does at climbing. Evolve! Okay, this is going great so far. I can't even see my mouse in all this chaos. Let's show one at a time. All right, it's doing a really good job at falling. Let's change the simulation. Oh no, the simulation time's okay. We're at seven seconds. I think seven seconds is tolerable. All right, so we're gonna give this thing, um... Ooh, ooh, it's already starting to kind of slow itself down a little bit. It's still kind of tumbling end over end though. But how many generations should we give this thing? Let's go with another 30 again. I think 30 is a safe, a safe kind of spot to figure out is this thing improving or not? And if it's improving by 30, if it looks like it has a chance, then we'll give it some more time. But if it doesn't look like it's gonna really have a chance, then uh <gasps> it's already like I already can see how it might work. But I don't wanna get my hopes up yet. Let's wait till generation 30. I'll see you on the other side. I'm not happy. I'm not I'm not happy with this thing. It's not improving anymore. But there's one thing I want to try. I want to try to let, let's we started with this design and this design it shows some aspects of promise. So I'm going to add to this design. What I'm going to do is add another limb in the front that is kind of similar to this one. And what I'm hoping is that maybe it'll use these as like climbers. Kind of like our walking creature in the beginning of the last episode. So let's see if this is capable of doing anything. And I'm actually, I'm going to attach these to each other as well. And uh, I'm also going to attach these to each other. And then I'm going to delete this because I think it's kind of pointless. Oh, you know, what? I have an idea. This is a weird idea and I don't know why I think this might help, but I'm going to, instead of this being just a solid joint or solid bone here, I'm going to make this have a midpoint. And then I'm going to put some muscles like this instead. And I don't know. We're going to see what this thing does now. We're going to give it 50 generations as well. See if this gets us anywhere better than the last creature at climbing. And it doesn't climb. It uh, it's, it's like it tries, but it doesn't. I feel like I may have made it a little bit too big. Like maybe if you scale it down a little bit, it might be easier to climb the stairs, but I feel like bigger might be lankier and lankier just means you fall over more, especially on stairs like this. So let's uh, let's just start over and we're going to do something a little bit uh, less random, but still stupid, like something non intuitive and just see what happens. But we're going to just make we're just going to make it smaller. Let's just make it smaller. Let's just do s small stupid, not not lanky stupid. All right, so we're just gonna put some things like this. I don't know how many I don't know how many uh, bones or joints I should have, but now let's go ahead and start connecting things. Okay, so this is how I've connected the dots, and uh, I'm just gonna do, do what I've done before and just connect the muscles to things. All right, so we have like a spring on the front here. I'm wondering if this spring will actually help us like push ourselves uh, not push but like pull ourselves up with uh with spring momentum. All right, let's just evolve and see what this thing does. All right, of course it starts off falling because that's just what everything's gonna do. But let's see how it learns how to stop itself. I don't know what this back, oh, okay. That back thing might actually have some kind of use to it. Um, I may have made the springs a little bit too long. I don't know, I don't know what to expect. I have no idea what to expect for this thing. Let's give it, let's give it 20 generations to start off with and see if it shows any promise. And then we're just gonna, then maybe we'll start trying to play things a little bit smarter instead of less random, more smart. Like that's gonna get me anywhere, but we'll try it. Uh, nothing's happening. I don't know why I expected anything different, but this is what we get now. And I think I'm going to start trying to play it smart. I've been thinking during my time watching these generations evolve into uh, nothing better. So what I'm thinking that we need for something that is capable of climbing up these stairs is we really need something that can kind of jump up and then just just latch on, jump up and latch on. So what I'm imagining is spring legs. Oh, this is going to be really tough to do. I think this is going to be really tough to do. But we have to try to get, like, something has to be capable of climbing up this staircase. I feel like it's a little bit too steep. 
they should have like gradient difficulties. They, you should start off like just a slight angle. And then this is like hard mode. Okay, so this is my idea. I I think I put way too much thought into this. I don't like, I, I was really thinking hard about imagining how this thing is gonna work. And I feel like all of that is for nothing because it's not gonna do anything as to what I imagined. But I imagine it kind of literally just like hopping itself up gradually and for some reason I just feel like that's possible and I at the same time I, I feel like it's just not possible and the only way to find out is to click this evolve button so we'll see what how it starts off all right we're off to oh we're, that's actually not a bad start most things start off just tumbling down this thing has start off has started off just automatically grabbing on I all right I, I, I don't want to get too optimistic I don't want to get too optimistic just yet. Let's give it, let's give it 50 generations just to see if there's any promise. Okay, here we are at 100 generations and I'm gonna say that after waiting for 100 generations, uh, this thing has no hope. So we are going to restart. And I think the main issue with it is that it's just not strong enough. So let's just add more muscles. We're gonna add muscles from here to here to all these different limbs. Cause I think it just needs more springing power, more pulling power, more springing power. Just all of that good stuff. Okay, so this is generation 101, and I'm thinking that there's a problem with the front leg. The back leg looks great. The back leg is perfect, but the front leg just doesn't seem to be able to grasp the concept here, pun intended. So I'm gonna make one minor adjustment to the front leg. We're gonna keep everything else the same, and the only adjustment I'm going to make, this might seem weird, and I'm hoping this act actually makes the difference, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move this over there, and I'm gonna move this over here here and we're gonna see if this makes a difference over 100 generations compared to the last one ladies and gentlemen i got some sad news i tried to give it time I tried to give it as much time as it needed to climb up these stairs and i can only say it's managed to climb no stairs we're gonna have to put them down i'm sorry little buddy I'm sorry. So let's just make something else. Let's just let's just make something else. So what I'm thinking actually, I'm going to stick with this basic concept, but I'm just gonna make more legs. Let's just make a lot more legs. All right, we have so many legs here now that I have no idea how to even attach muscles to these things. Like I cannot see what is going on. We have like a crazy spider type thing. I can't even tell which muscles I've already attached and which ones I haven't. So I'm just going to keep drawing muscles and hopefully by the time I finish drawing all this stuff, we'll have something that can do something in things. All right. I wish there was like a counter for muscles and bones and stuff. I don't see, I don't see one anywhere. So we're going to see what this thing does. I'm going to give this a hundred generations as well because we, it's even more complicated. So it's going to need some more time. So hopefully, hopefully it could, oh, this legs my game a lot. Oh boy, we may have made it a little bit too complicated. <laughs> We're gonna have to decrease the population. Let's do it down to 15, see if this feels any better. Oh, okay, that's much better. 15 is so much better. So it's gonna it's gonna evolve a little bit slower. So let's give it at least 100 generations and see where it's at by the end of 100 generations. Uh, I don't know, if, I, I can't think of any better designs to be honest. Um, I haven't actually seen any successful designs, but then again, I haven't looked very hard. So I wonder, I re I'm really curious what the best design so far is to get up this cliff is. Do you think that this will be it? I really don't, but we're going to find out. 100 generations to go. Here it goes. Okay, we're at 88 generations. I decided not to make it all the way to 100 because if you just look at this thing, <laughs> I feel like it represents the way that I feel watching this thing. It just looks like pure frustration. It just, it's just like try. it's just like punching the stairs in frustration. It just doesn't even want to deal with this anymore. It's just like stupid stairs. I like this. Stop making me do this. So we're going to stop. We're going we're gonna to put it out of its misery. And um, I've been at this for an hour and a half now because I have to wait all the time for each generation to, uh, to evolve. And I feel like I have one more in me, one more attempt. And honestly, I'm going to just go maybe simpler is better. And we're just going to try something super simple. I don't even know what it's going to be yet, but it's just going to be super simple. All right. It is M. We had such great success with the SM. Maybe we're going to simplify it to just M for um, 
master of stairs. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh wait, we can do, we can do. Now this is so much simpler. Let's try 50 population. Then we will have a little bit more, a little bit more going on. So now I'm hoping that sim simpler is just gonna be a little bit better, and I'm hoping that it's gonna fold up in the middle here. Oh, oh yeah, kind of like that, kind of like that, kind of like oh, oh wrong way, wrong. Yeah, so do that, but just go up. All right, just just go up. All right, so now I'm gonna give this thing 100 generations. And well, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it if it progresses forward in a hundred generations. If it doesn't, if it seems to reach a stalemate, then we'll stop it. We're gonna see what happens. This thing, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. It's simple. Maybe it'll just do good. Let's see what happens. Hey guys, guys, look what I made. Look, what I, I made one little adjust. Well, I made a couple of adjustments to the M, and it. Oh, I can't believe this just happened. Not only. Does it climb the stairs, but it also rolls. The last episode, we tried so hard to make something that can do somersaults, and we've just made something that can somersault upstairs. I, I, I don't know what to say. It's only generation 20. Like, I, I actually, I was out of the room waiting for this to, to happen, and it's only generation 20. Hold on, we gotta save this. We gotta save this for sure, because this is just, I, I can't believe this happened. Hold on, we got to increase the time here. We got to increase the time. All right, let's do... Let's give it 20 seconds. See how far I can get in 20 seconds. All right, here it goes. 20 seconds now. We got a 20-second generation going. Look at this. It's a rolling M. This actually worked. It, it's, it's just going. It's just going. We did it. We created a stair-climbing creature. Let's give it... We're going to give it a... Is a whole minute, a whole minute of climbing up the stairs. So on generation 32, it's gonna have a minute of stair climbing. And let's see, I like, I don't think this thing can fail. I don't think this thing can fail. I think it's like the most successful. It looks like all it has is one expanding muscle and everything else is just contracting. Well, there's layers of muscles too. So, all right, here we go, generation 32. So this is gonna be an entire minute. Look how fast it's going. Look how fast it's going. I can't believe this actually works. It just goes up. That's just, it just, I think it's just, it, it wins. It wins. I think we've won the stair climbing. Has anybody built a stair climber that goes up faster than this? I don't know. If, if there is, leave a link down in the, in the comments to a video. If anyone has a video of a better stair climber than this. Because I'd love to see what other types of designs work. But apparently the M is the master of stairs. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. It is now a triangle, but it's still working. Because now it's reaching a point in its evolutionary stage where it's never had to evolve this far or for this long before. So it's reaching time that it hasn't had to cover in its uh, in its evolution previously. So it's changed just a little bit. All right, so that was a minute. That was a full minute of climbing up the stairs. So, um... I'm gonna go back and to show you my design here. So this is my design. This is the design that actually managed to roll upstairs. And I think I have pretty much mostly everything attached to everything. Like this is attached to this and this is attached to this. However, these are not attached. The end ones are not attached to each other. Um, and then this is attached to these and the legs. So yeah, it's a super simplistic design, but it was totally successful. So I think that is a wonderful way to end off this episode. After over an hour and 40 minutes of doing this, we finally have something that not only rolls, but also climbs upstairs. So leave a like if uh, you enjoyed this, and let me know if you guys have found any better designs for the stair climbing competition. Now, I had a lot of fun with this episode. If you want to see anything else, give me some suggestions of what you'd like to see in this game. And maybe we'll do some more episodes. I don't know. The first episode did pretty well. We'll see how this episode does. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like this. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.